everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game. I was planning on recording something a little bit different today and I might still have time for it. Uh, so first things first, before we get into this crazy episode, I just want to say thank you to everybody who uh, who stuck around for the Pokemon unboxing, uh, search for Charizard streams. That was one hell of a trip, one hell of a journey. Um, a lot of you did uh, tune in um, every day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, until we finally pulled the Charizard, opening 240 plus packs and more, because we opened the rest of them, because why not? We come that far anyway, right? So, here we are in Jurassic World, the game. Um, the, I mean, we had an end of a tournament, yeah, nothing too special. It looked like a Nodosaurus was coming into the game. Yeah, it's all right. But actually, there's a lot that's happened. So if we just go into news, so already the teaser, that looks like a Sinoceratops to me. Sinoceratops doesn't exist in this game at the moment. There it is. That can't be anything else. That that in that mis unmistakable uh, color of green. It's a Sinoceratops as well as the the beigey. That's so we got Sinoceratops coming. That's cool. Uh, also this thing I did not expect this. A new hybrid um, from Mosasaurus Gen 2 and Nodosaurus. That's right. It was Sora Pelta. People thought it was. Uh, of course, we've got the Glacier, we've got all of these events. Um, and just in case you haven't got, you know, those creatures, the Sora Pelta or Mosasaur Gen 2, for the first time in God knows how long, we have a double tourney that you don't even have to be VIP to participate in. Uh, as well as like loads of other events. We've got the Four Fins pack, that's new. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That looks sweet. Uh, so before we get, in, we've got so much, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna collect from these. I think, yes! 500 bucks to upgrade my food supply plant. I mean, I guess, why not? I don't really want to, but there it is. I think it's got a little bit of an extra thing there. What level is it? Level six, 500 bucks, not well spent at all. But um, I also wanna show you what I have been doing uh, to get basically free VIP points and the possibility of getting free bucks. Not guaranteed. Uh, and you might end up losing bucks. And a few days that I've been doing this, uh, every now and again, I do... Oh, I was gonna say, is that as far as I can zoom out? Oh, okay. Uh, so here we are with the trades. So first off, that's a good one. You know, a sculpture for some bucks. Yeah, why not? Let's do that, eh? Um, what's this for? Oh, yeah, might as well do that. So these are random ones that you get. Um, and mm, there's nothing else really there. So... If you want VIP points for free, the best way that I've found to do it is to click on decoration. I only have John Hammond. I don't know where the other statue came from that I traded for, but it's gone now. John Hammond statue. Trade for loyalty points. Guaranteed 200 VIP points for a John Hammond statue. And you can do this three times a day. 262 that time. So you're guaranteeing minimum 600 VIP points for doing nothing. And in fact, this time that was 260, so that's basically an extra 100. So that's 700. 700 free VIP points. 10 days you do that, that's 7,000. That's almost a solid gold pack. Pretty good, eh? And if you wanted to, you could get like, you've you all just purchase an additional custom trade to trade some of you. There's no point doing that. So, yes, the secret to Jurassic World is John Hammond statues. Now this is what I've been doing in you know, my own spare time, trying to figure out uh, what really is the best way to generate VIP points. And I've had uh, Toast uh, 2.0 has been getting in touch with me uh, and he has showed me or at least taught, taught me about this um, or introduced me to it. Uh, I have tried it in the past and I don't exactly know what the secret is. Whether it's, you know, when you open the game, then you place down John Hammond statues, or you just have John Hammond statues in your backlog. So, here you go, you make a bunch of John Hammond statues. Now, it doesn't matter about collecting the VIP points from them, uh, or just, because when you are putting them into storage, you can store them and not collect the VIP. Oh, sorry, XP, sorry. <laughs> So many PPs. Uh, sorry, I just realized we are so close to getting level 94 that I may as well, might as well do it, eh? So there we go, 94, a new expansion, and a VIP mystery pack. Oh, look at that, 60 bucks. Oh, lovely. I'll take it. And there's, of course, 30 VIP points. Um, and, oh my god, I could 
buy a golden rewards pack for a fiver. However, there's no books in it, so there's no point. Sorry. Yes. Uh, are you sure you want to decline? Heck yeah, I'm sure. So we are level 94 now. So now what you want to do is you just want to, you know, whatever is the best way for you, uh, you do that. And, you know, you, you do it too quick and you break the game. Always good. <laughs> but you just want to put them into your, uh, your storage. Now, let's have a look. I am? I don't know what I am on the lottery. Oh, it's reset. Ah, okay. Uh, fair enough. Well, you know, I'll collect that. I'll collect that because we are down a little bit on food. Now, how far did I get? Okay, so you kind of have to do this slowly. Now, if I'm on my iPhone, it doesn't matter how quickly I do it. But for whatever reason, if I'm on my iPad, I have to, like, go at a snail's pace to put these John Hammond statues back in the box. Otherwise, it, it just is not happy with me at all. Look, here we go. Let's let's try and do it at a, you know, a, a, an all right speed. Let's see how quickly it'll take to uh, crash. <laughs> it's not like I have much. I, I've sold like all of my decorations. Anything I had, any building, any decoration, I took out. Now, the way to get this to work is to have exactly that. Only have John Hammond statues available in your market. Because when you do these custom trades, it's gonna pick a random, a variety of random stuff to trade um, from what you've already got. Now, if you've only got John Hammond statues, it's only gonna pick John Hammond statues. So here we go, we're gonna refresh for 50 bucks already. It's a gamble. We're investing 50 bucks to see what trades we get. Already 21 bucks back for coin. Happy with that. Nothing wrong with that. And I'll do that one. Whatever is in the picture, that's what you're trading for. So you wanna keep an eye on books. Here we go, books and it's DNA. Now. That's not too bad. We can trade that and I'll trade, a, you know, it saves having to put it in the incubator or something like that. Here we go, another book thing. Now this could be for John Hammond. It's not. <laughs> but, you know, we spent 50 bucks. That's already 210 bucks there. And, I, you know, we, you saw we traded the John Hammond statue for VIP points. So basically we did make um, books for John Hammond. We just had to go in a middleman and do the VIP points. So you can do, I think, three of these a day or something like that. So let's do another one. Uh, ooh, that's good. We've got another book and it is... Well, you know what? 50 bucks down, 50 bucks up. There we go. And what is this one? And more VIP points. Again, I guess that, that helps because of the John Hammond. Um, and some food. Uh, here you go. So there is a John Hammond appearing for food. So you know what? We can do that. If, you know, John Hammond will appear for DNA. Um, this will probably work for any decoration. Um, and I really hope Ludy doesn't fix this because this is kind of just how it should work. I've deliberately just made sure that it's only John Hammond's. There's probably other statues or other things that you can trade for more books, possibly. I think the Apatosaurus statue goes for more or the, uh, the skeleton. So here we go. We've got another book. So what's it going to be? It's a John Hammond statue trading for 388 books. Now, I will say that's a lot. That's probably on the higher end of what I've seen a John Hammond statue go for. Sorry if the green screen's messing up there. We've got light shining in over there. We're doing it a little bit later on in the evening. So here we go. So basic 400 bucks for a John Hammond statue. That's mental. And we got, you know, we'll tra trade food for VIP points. And what's this DNA for? What do we trade the DNA for? Yeah, mods, you never get anything good, which is a bit of a shame. And that is it. That's as, that's as much as we could do as far as the trades go. We can't, I mean, you can't buy back anymore. You can't refresh. Every day, check in. Make sure you've got John Hammond statues ready. It doesn't matter if you, you make them. Maybe it does, like when you've logged in. I don't know. Um, just as long as you, that's all you've got. You will get some good trades. Now, you saw that I, that was a 150 book investment. However, that one John Hammond statue, like I said, is on the higher end of the spectrum. Normally it's about 200 bucks. That was 400 almost, which was loads. But how about we look at what the rest of the game has to offer, shall we? Oh, and we, you know, we may as well collect from here as well, from doing all the custom trades, all that do does. Okay, so we'll open up another, another pack as well. So for another 60 bucks, because we're gonna get the custom hybrid or the new hybrid. Unfortunately, it is going to cost us a lot of books because we've got to speed up um, all of those uh, Moses or Gen 2s because I don't have those. So again, like I've been doing every, you know, whenever I can, I'll put in three legendaries because I've got so many of them just to try and get DNA. Um, and as you can see, we're now on 323,000 DNA. Our DNA cost is only, you know, the amount we've got is only going up. 
it's only going up because I'm not spending it on anything uh, unless, you know, it's which we will take a big hit to it because we're going to buy a lot of Mosasaurs. Right, so to help us, we do have this. We do have the VIP instant hatchery. However, we can only do one. And um, we also have the um, the VIP instant creation lab as well. Again, only can do one a week, unfortunately. But that's definitely going to help us when it comes to creating this new hybrid. So let's have a look. What events do we have? You got a beast of the biodome. You got a battle for survival. Another good one because you get free VIP points, basically. Uh, Gen 2 Fury, Earth Shattering. But look at this. Shake the Earth. Two week long. That's quite long for a tournament. Um, and I'm hoping in this video what we can do, because we got 60% battery, no 10% alert here. Uh, we can hopefully get to Dominate League on both of those. Not only that, but we got a VIP exclusive event, and we've just done Battle Stage 94. Well, we've just unlocked a level 94 out of 90... 99? Ooh, and there's a, uh, a Antarctica Pelter. Is that what we need? Is it on top? No, it's not. It's Nodosaurus, isn't it? Nodosaurus. Okay, so in order to make, if we go on to... Not you... We go into here, we select from herbivores, and we scroll down. This is it. So we already have a level 40 Nodosaurus. That's good. But we only have one level 10 Mosasaur Gen 2, meaning we need seven more Mosasaur Gen 2s. And this is where it's going to get a little bit pricey. Uh, so, and it's going to cost a lot of food. So 8,000. <laughs> 8,000 DNA. And, uh, we, we, we can, um, we may as well do the instant hatch. Um, it's 250 bucks. Now, normally it's 1,700, so it is an instant. We can only do it once, and it does save us a little bit. Um, however, uh, that's it done for a whole week. So now we need six more. So we're going to have to go on here again. Go on to, sorry, surfaces. Click this way, uh, and there it is, Moses or Gen 2. 1,680, so we did save, you know what, 1,430 bucks for the first time. Um, and we're going to have to do it all in this first incubator. Otherwise, you know, it's going to cost 10 bucks each time we put it in the other one. So that is three. Oh, God, three, four. Oh, no, the books. No, all my hard work. No, four, five. <laughs> no. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Uh, five, six, just two more, two more, two more. Here we go, two more. It's probably gonna, cut, it's gonna get a lot of food. Our food is gonna go way down. So thank God we got 91 million. And the last one, so we were on, what was it, 18? Was it 18? 18,000 bucks? And now we are on 7,000 bucks. That's a hefty chunk. So let's have a look at this Mosasaur Gen 2 eating animation while we're here, eh? So this turns an aquatic uh, animal, creature, a Mosasaur Gen 2, into a herbivore. Um, and that I'm not too fussed about. We need more herbivores in this game, more, more powerful herbivores. So here we go. All of the great white sharks. Yes, yes, yes. Eight of these buggers. So we're gonna get a level. We're gonna get a level forty, which is gonna be good. But at the same time, it's tournament creature, so it's not gonna be the best. Um, now we're not gonna do the instant fuse. Oh no, no, no! Oh, damn it! Bloody <laughs> effort. Well, we took twenty minutes off it, and still cost us forty-one bucks. Oh no! And that wasn't even calculating the amount of bucks that this is going to take to speed this up. Oh, and it's costing a lot! It's costing a lot! Come on! Oh please, 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 please! This is like a couple hundred uh, bucks right here. Yep. And that. W hopefully, we get lucky with the other ones. So maybe it was better we actually got that one. So here we go. There's a level ten. And a level 11, so not too much difference there. Activate. We're just going to do the regular. Hopefully we get it first time. Yeah, there you go. Again, just freaking look. Oh, do not. Why is cell on the left? That's not like, on the left is the one you want to click, right? But this game keeps on switching it around. It, it's like, oh no, sometimes you want to sell. No, I don't want to sell. You kidding me? I'm just, I'm just fusing dinosaurs together to get this and spending books. Thank God it has a conf confirmation if you accidentally do click sell. Yeah, there it is. Okay, come on, evolve. Activate. Yes, go. 47. So we're going to save our free, um, like, fusing together of these. Now, I don't know whether to save it for the level 40 or for the hybrid. Um, I, I don't know which one's going to cost more. 
I'm assuming the level 40 is going to cost more. It's going to take more time. So here we go. Let's see, it's level 20 eating animation. It's weird, there's something not right with the shading there. And then they got it right with the other Mosasaur, but with this one, the lighting on this model's not the best. And I don't know why that is when it's outside the water. When it's inside the water, it's fine. Uh, so let's get that to... Nom! Get that to level 20. Activate. Uh, this time it's costing 80. 80 bucks a pop. Who remembers Jurassic Park Builder when it was like ding, 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 dong? <laughs> you had to wait. You'd get XP. You could redo it or you could spend bucks to just like try that one segment to unlock that dinosaur. Uh, so there it is. Level 30. Ooh, look at it. It's got a little more tan line on the top. You can't really tell the difference. So it's 80 bucks. I'm assuming it's going to be like 100 and odd. 100 and odd. Um, oh, no. No, <laughs> don't start, don't start, come on. Oh no, it's done. The ruination. <laughs> oh, all these, all, like all those John Hammond statues I sold for bucks and here we go. Still not done, doesn't even have the courtesy to be done at this point. No, 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 80 each time. There we go. Okay, so we have to do that one more, I think, one more time. Uh, no, oh, so we were on 90 million. Now we're on 84 million, so it's cost us, you know, about 6 million food, which, you know, it's when it gets to level 40, that's when it costs the most. Uh, look at that, it's like a quarter of a million each time. And also, let's not forget to collect the evolution um, little bounty reward we get for it here on the top left once we make this a level 40. You ready, guys? Uh, we're going to instant fuse this because sod it. 180 and done. Don't even need to worry. There we go! Level 40 Mosasaur Gen 2. Sell! <laughs> um, oh, let's feed it. Let's feed it. Whoa, that cost a lot. That cost a lot. Just the level 40 alone. Oh, wow. It's got really wide mouth. Look at that. Okay, so we're never going to see this creature again, right? We're never going to see it again. Okay, guys. So there you go. Enjoy it while it swims around for a bit because we are never seeing this again because we, we, why would we want to get a level 40? Um, and also, let's collect. So we already collected the 5,000 food. Then it's 50,000 food. Then 100 bucks back. And then this one, 100 bucks. So 200 bucks and 172 VIP points. So if we had fused this creature without collecting that reward, we wouldn't be able to get it again, even though technically we have unlocked it. The game doesn't recognize that. So remember, you will, if you don't need root to collect those, otherwise you're losing out on 200 bucks. Um, so here we go. Here's the fuse. Oh, Antarctica Pelta, is it? Or oh, Sauropelta, sorry. And Mosasaur Gen 2. 80 bucks. Thank God. That would have been a lot more. That would have been a lot more if it was the other way. Ooh. Okay, so 80 bucks. We're already... That's, that, we already got 200 back. Um... I was just wondering, did I do, did I collect the Sora Pelta DNA? Oh, I don't know if I collected the Sora Pelta books and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, he, anyway, we are getting a legendary herbivore hybrid. And we'll have to check the stats on this. Because can it give Segnosuchus a run for its money? Ooh, that'll be interesting. Okay. Kind of bland, but at a level 1, 2,105 health and 658 attack. That's better than a level 40 T-Rex. Okay, where well, are we going to place you? We'll place you there. Uh, this creature is now available in the market. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at you. Let's get you to level 10. So, 3,157 health and 987 attack. At level 10, 1,000 attack. Whew. Now, most flyers are uh, kind of weak. They don't have a lot of health. So... Against his, you know, going to be a lot. Although arm, or what is it, armor matters, tail fin, gives the appearance of being mid-evolution. It is equipped to thrive on land. I'd be surprised if it couldn't survive on land, if I've got to be honest. So what does it look like at level 40? Oh, it gets a fin. Oh, that's quite nice. So how much does this thing cost in the market? It costs, oh, look at that. We're already getting, um, what is that, 10% off? Well, that's not too bad. So he's 74,000 DNA. Um, is, that the, is that the most expensive? No. No, it can't be. It's it's way more expensive than Segna Suchus. What? Okay, at this price, 
It's the most expensive dinosaur in the entire game. What? 11,000 health and six, sorry, 3,600. Now, when it comes to hybrids, guys, what do you do? You don't stick with a level 10. You get that level 20 because for, and we get 10% off for this, for that price, we get extra attack, extra everything. I'm going to spend that. I'm also going to spend the books to speed that up. It's about the same as, as a, as a, what do you call it? A, you know, speeding up a Mosasaur anyway. So we'll get that. 140, 120 bucks. Oh, we got it straight away. We got it straight away that time. Don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> so a level 20, 4,092 health. 1,279 attack. Okay, let's get into level 20. 5,408 health and 1,680 attack or something ridiculous. Whoa, this is now the most expensive creature. Wow, wow. You like how he's ginger? Oh, she's ginger. Oh, and also let's not forget to claim our food because we're gonna need it. Oh, uh, what's it? Armor Matter's name references Squamata. What's Squamata? Uh, the reptile family which Mosasaurs come from. Oh, okay, well, there you go. So we have it uh, in the, tucked away in the corner of our park, our prized possession. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to see where it stacks up on the, the, the list of the roster of dinosaurs. That'll be interesting. Okay. Oh, look, we're free Dilophosaurus there. Uh, Elophosaurus. So, I mean, at level 20, it, I, I would be very surprised if it's on par with an Indoraptor or something ridiculous. Um, but where does it, there it is. Wow. Ostoposaurus, it's in line with an Ostoposaurus and it's only level 20. It's only level 20. Okay, okay, so another pe another thing people have, uh, or guys have asked me about is that my DNA, I have enough DNA. Look, we are so close to getting Indoraptor Gen 2. So close to, you know, I think I might just get one. I might just get one, but we have 3,000 Monolophosaurus DNA. Um, I think we have enough for, for some of the super hybrids. So if we, what I'll do is I'll put in something really cheap just to fill that slot so we don't accidentally put that in. Uh, and let's get a dinosaur. Let's look at super hybrids. So we have 3000 Monolophosaurus DNA. Now this is the issue I have because we could buy three Monostegatops and I wouldn't regret it. But if they do the same thing that they did with the wrapped DNA, they're gonna introduce a new super hybrid and I'll not have DNA to unlock it. So, kind of annoying. Um, and especially, you know, the super DNA building doesn't give you much. Uh, how much do we need for this guy? Create in creation lab, okay. So we could, could get another Spandata Sutures, could get another Tapajala Fathalus or whatever it's called, could get another Monostegatops and definitely could get Diplo Sutures. Now, how much Diplo Sutures? We could get two more Diplo Sutures. And Diplo Sutures is really good. I just wish they hadn't introduced that. I wish they hadn't done those two. I wish they hadn't done Interruptor and then Interruptor Gen 2. Now, obviously they did Interruptor Gen 2 because Interruptor Gen 2 is in Jurassic World Alive. But they might do, you know, a similar thing with the Sarkasuka's DNA. They might bring in Sarkas Rix or whatever it is, because at the moment you just pit Diplo Sutures, but Sarkatorisk, or whatever it's called in Jurassic World Alive, exists. And they could just instantly put it into this game and be like, well, yep, you need that DNA for that creature too. Um, that's why I'm hesitant, so we won't do that. I don't think we'll do that, but we will see how far we can get. Now, this this tournament has been out for less than two hours. So, can we get to Dominator League on both tournaments today? We have, like, over 50% battery. It might be doable. It might be doable. Now, because it's a week long, what we, we there could be two outcomes out of this. It could be that you need to battle way more than you've ever had to, or you might only, you know, you might get to dominate league pretty quick because it might be the you know the same amount of cups that you need to normally get into dominate league. Because the tournament lasts around about three to four days. It's like starts on Friday, ends on Monday, that sort of thing. Um, ooh, ooh, this will be interesting. Hmm, and I'm assuming they're both the same, or maybe, maybe the Mosasaur's the aqu an aquatic uh, tournament. I haven't checked that. 
That would be interesting. We haven't had a tournament that's been stuff like that, like a Cenozoic tournament with Cenozoic creatures. Because when we used to have those, they would... I'd win about three battles and I'd be in Dominator League. Because, you know, you don't really have that many Glacier creatures. Um, right. We definitely won this. Yeah, we definitely won this. Although, I don't know whether we'll... We're guaranteed to get the lowest, which would be 20 cups. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because my Concavenator, even though it's really good against the opponents, you know, I'm using level one commons and they're using super rares uh, and rares, which, eh, but there's, there's, there's two good super rares there. I think, I think even if my Concavenator dies here, my Limalemalemo thing could probably kill them. So let's factor in two extra. Why not? And there it is. That's good. Takes it out. Bam. Now, even if we die here, which I don't think we will. I, well, we could do. We could die because I think he's got six. And if he went for an all-out attack, he could kill us. But I think my level one common could, could kill Spinosaurus. Let's have a look. Let's see how this goes. Oh, well, whatever. Yep, there's nothing he can do. Even with six blocks, we got seven and one kills him. Oh, look at his sheep eyes. Why, why, Ludia, why did you give Con Concavenator sheep eyes? Why did you do it? It's a weird call, got to admit. It was like, yeah, we'll give him those weird eyes. <laughs> okay, so we got, no, we did only get 20, but how far will we go up? Oh, I thought so. We've skipped, we've skipped hatchling, we've skipped, um, prey, and now we're straight on, prey, <laughs> spider, we <laughs> skipped prey, and we're on to survivor, already with one battle. Um, now let's see how far we can get ahead now. Um, when we win more cups. So that was Concavenator, right? We've, we're already in the Survivor. Yeah, I think this is about right. You know, for an, for an easy win, I would say. Yeah, we're probably only gonna get 20 cups again. <laughs> At this point, what I could do um, is just put, I could have put uh, that Metrodon in first and just went attack, 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 attack. <laughs> I don't even think I need to even think about this battle, man. I like how on my desk, I've still got torn up bits of Beedrill. Oh, bless it. <laughs> right, yeah. Who didn't see that coming? Come on. Come on, man. Is that a Mustang? Is that guy got a Mustang for a picture? He likes his cars. I bet this guy doesn't even know that Ludia's using his uh, picture for, for this. I bet he doesn't even play the game anymore. There'll be one of those things where if you download it, they're allowed to use certain information like Facebook and stuff like that. They'll allow access into that. So that's probably where they grab your pictures from. Yes. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Uh, yeah, like I said, I was expecting to record something else today, but I might be able to do that as well as this. I just didn't... Ex I, when I, I was on Facebook and um, I saw somebody post in, in, the, in a Facebook group. I think it was Jurassic Park the game. Jurassic Park the game, the group. That's the one. That's uh, that's, that's the good one. You should go into that one. Uh, <laughs> and there's a two, two tournaments... What is this? I was like, oh, this is new. And then when I saw the new hybrid that's been released, what's going on? What's all this about? Okay, did we get 20? Oh, we got 22. So how far can we fly up this one? Oh, to the top, to the top. Okay, we're going to slow down a little bit. We skipped over all of that. But maybe in 10 more battles, we can get to Dominator League. I think, I think. Uh, should we have a look at the other the other one? Uh, let's look at the Shake the Earth. This is the, this is the other one. Oh, it's the same. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if that's the case, um, we can easy speed through this. We'll just put an Ichthyostega in and then two Chijongasauruses, because we may as well speed up through this. Now, it's going to be quite tough to stay on top of this for a week and to win two tournaments. It's going to be interesting. It's going to, like, uh, is it possible? Can I do it? Can I win, in a week's time, both these tournaments? Now, winning one tournament kind of requires you to use all your creatures. Oh, using two, like winning two tournaments though. That's like impossible. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be able to do it, definitely. And it's quite nice, I guess, that they're allowing um, people the opportunity to unlock this new hybrid, or at least, you know, get the creatures because they know that you know, some people might have missed out on the Mosasaur Gen 2. I almost did. Uh, some people might have missed out on the no Nord... Is it Nodosaurus? Nodosaurus. 
um, or Sora Pelt or whatever it was, because I think that was a while ago. I don't think we've had another one since, another tournament for uh, Sora Pelt or no, no Dosaurus, I think it was. Either way. I can't remember. And there you go, Ichthyostega wins it in three turns. Brilliant, which will give us our, just our lowest we can get, which is 20. And will we be at the bottom of Survivor like we were before? Yes, of course we are. Hmm, <laughs> interesting, interesting. What can we win? Damn, we never win anything good on these. Load of rubbish. All right, all right, all right. Let's do, let's do, no, not, not you. I, I don't think we need to bother with the, um... Because the reason I normally put in... Uh, the Tijongasaurus is in first, or at least one Tijongasaurus in first, is just to make sure that um, whatever it comes in um, kills the Tijongasaurus, like with max attack. And I can go for like one reserve, meaning that whatever's in the middle spot has three attacks. Um, but in this case, the, the, at this point in the tournament, the creatures I'm facing are far too low. It makes no difference. All I'm doing is wasting time. I may as well just put in something really good and then put two Trijongosaurus in just to make sure that, you know, if we can get some extra cups, we get them. It's not guaranteed, but still. Uh, and look, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Bam. Taken out. 166 attack that was. Because uh, Dina Charis or Dina Kairos or Dina Hechers. Dina Hach. <laughs> yeah. um, has, a, has a lot of attack. He's got sharp fingernails. Files them every day. Come on. Come on, do something. 300, 466. And just like that, there you go. Done and done. That's another one. Three turns. Boom. Taken out. We're going to put other dinosaurs in, but we need the Chijangasaurus just to make sure that we... We sort of bring down our average because we were up there and then, you know, Mastodonosaurus is up there and everything else we face. So there you go, we got 26. So the Tijongasauruses that are quite low brought our average down. Tips, tips and tricks. Whoa, we got higher in that one because we got an extra like four cups, I suppose. Interesting. Mm. Oh, look, a good prize, food, yay. <laughs> okay, let's keep going with this one. I'm feeling lucky with this one. So even though I have a lot of creatures, it's it's still kind of tough. It's it's uh, it's gonna be tough because uh, these first battles are easy, but then when we start to you know we start to get higher. Oh look at this! Oh no! I can't kill a Carnotaurus. I can't kill Toes. No. If he goes for some hits here, I might be in trouble. This is, this is a situation where actually it would have been better to put Tijongasaurus in. Um, so I think I might do that now. I might, <laughs> yep, whoop. I'm gonna switch in with the second place to make sure that, you know, when he dies, uh, Dinakaris comes in. If we put, if we swapped it with the bottom uh, Tijongasaurus, then when this one dies, the other Tijongasaurus would have came in, which wouldn't have helped us at all. So again, even when switching, <laughs> excuse me, pay attention to where you put your dinosaur. So now, that was lucky. He had three and we had two and he knew that one would kill us. So we went for a full on three in case we went for two block. So now, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. The only reason that Carnotaurus is a threat is because he's got an increase in attack because he's a carnival. And there you go, that's better. 89 and we got a Triceratops. So it's level 27, but it's still a Triceratops though. So it's not gonna be very good, is it? Woo! Okay, one, factor in two, and then I may as well just go for some block. Not that I really needed to do any of that, but, you know, we're just gonna make sure. Yeah, 46 attack, yeah, there's nothing to do. I mean, even if he did have, if he, even if he attacked with a full on six, um, actually, if he attacked with a full on six, he might be able to kill me. So maybe it was good that I blocked, because I don't know if Tijongasaurus could have killed him. I don't know. I don't know if Tijongasaurus could have killed him. So we may as well just go for a five attack here. We may as well. And there you have it. <gasps> the, the formidable bite of a Dinocheris. Dinocheris. Okay, so that's going to take us into... Predator? Is it Predator? What's, what's above Survivor? Oh, we got 30 there. Damn. Oh, it takes us into Hunter League. And we're already halfway up on Hunter League. Come on, let's do both of these. Let's do both these tournaments at the same time. We'll keep on switching. So the prizes get better. Um, not the prize, well, the, the prizes on the prize wheel get better. Chances of you winning those prizes 
you know, don't get any better. <laughs> Let's just say. So that was a... That was a Dina Cheris. So we'll pick that. And then we'll put in those two. Now, I don't think you can just put in one Ostoposaurus. Because maybe that would even be better. But I think you need three. I think you need three uh, dinosaurs in, in there. Um, so... Ooh, and not, again, another problem here. Um, unfortunately... Our weakness is out in front of us. Um, but the good news is here, it doesn't matter. Even if he goes for two, he's not going to put too much of a dent into us. And even then, uh, we can kill him quite easy with two hits. And the Allosaur comes in, which is going to be nerfed. And he's probably going to swap out for that Patchy. So, you, I've just done the play there. I've, I've just told you what's going to happen. He went for two. We can go for two. One reserve. The Allosaur is going to be swapped out for Patchy Cephalosaurus. So the Patchy is only going to have one attack. And it's not going to be able to do much. Really. Uh, let's say if Alasaur attacked us for two, it'd probably do like a hundred damage. So if he did want to attack, he should have attacked with the Alasaur. Because two attacks with the Alasaur, even nerfed, are probably better than the one Pachycephalosaurus. Uh, he doesn't go for it. Okay, so one factor in two and then one block just in case. Um, well, there you go. I think I might need it. Let's see, how much attack does it have? They're both level 26. 91. Yeah, see, so it would have made more sense to have uh, just attacked outright with the Allosaur. So you can only do four attacks to us at this point, and that is not enough to do 930 damage. But he does go for three, so he does two damage. <gasps> oh, no! And there you go. One easy peasy. Um... Well, I think I think the two Tijongasauruses are going to make us win 30 cups. I think. I think. Let's see. What do we get? Oh, 29. It couldn't just give me the 30. No, I just had to had to play. Didn't want to play ball. I was gonna have to play ball like that. That's not a save, James. <laughs> what are we gonna get? What are we gonna win? Oh my god, that's two battle entries we've got back. Oh okay, so we're in Silver League now. Um I would say we probably want to stay with something like um Pteranodon. That's what I would say. I don't know. I don't know. This Hunter Lee could be a bit tricky. Depends what we face up against. Oh, 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 unfortunately, again, we're against our weakness. What's happening every time? This is not good for us, man. This is not good. Um, we're, oh, don't go for two hits. We're going to have to do the, the swap here. We're going to have to swap to Jongasaurus in. Um, he doesn't go for it. That's good. It means it's more likely we can go for two reserve, and he's probably going to have at least one reserve. Oh, okay. So he's going to go for three. Um, it could be worse. It could be worse. He's got one block, meaning that we, we are going to have to go for three attack on him, but we do have five, I think. Um, so that leaves... It depends. So two kills him, right? So we have to factor in one to kill him. Now, if he doesn't block... Is the Raptor's going to have four attacks. Uh, so I have to go for one block. I have to. Just to be safe. Because if I went for all out reserves, that Raptor could probably just kill me. Um, we should get 40 cups for this. This is a really tight match. Especially the Tijongasaurus, whose only job is to reserve and die. <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to get a load here. I think we're going to get a load of points. A load of cups. Right. He's got three. Oh, he did go for it. He did go for a full-on attack. So we can go for two. Uh, one, two. Oh, yes. I think we can survive. I think we survived two hits from um, Diplodocus. Good old Dippy. Yeah, maybe three we couldn't have, though. Two for six, seven, eight. Three hits we may, we may have been able to survive, actually. It would have done, like, 800 to 900 damage-ish. Um, so... It's kind of a tough situation here, because if my Pteranodon dies, then it's game over. So, we need to play it safe here. We haven't come this far, just to just to waste out there. So, we, we would have won. If we went for a full-on attack, we would have won. However, again, very risky. So, there was no point really to just go for an all-out attack, because if he did block all the way, four attacks would definitely have killed us. So there we go. He had, I think, five or six and went for three attack. Meaning he's only got three block. We got four reserves right off the bat. So already one of those attacks going through. And with a four base. So, yep, there you go. How much attack can we do? 
5,810! But we don't get to do it. Guys! Ah, 4,000. 4,000! Beautiful! Okay, does that take us to Predator League? Are we going to fly through this really quick? 34 cups, that's more like it! Whoa, oh, it is! Straight into Predator League, top 5% already! Damn, this is a long episode, but we've done so much! So, even better prizes than this one. Have a look. Oh, if we were in Sora Pelter, that would be amazing. Ugh, food! Nobody cares about food! Okay, so we're Predator League for this one. Still in Silver League for this one, but, you know, we're gonna- it's- it's basically the same. That's what these are. So, we wanna look around about, you know, I'd say T-Rex. T-Rex is the best of the legendary creatures, but what's the chance that they're gonna have an amphibian? What's the chance? Very low. Very low. Please don't you dare. Because otherwise- Oh, come on! <laughs> for the past four or five battles, it's been my weakness every time! Oh no, this one's tough, man. This one's really tough. I just gotta hope that he doesn't attack. I think we may lose. I think we might have lost this one. 25 T-Rex Gen 2, 22 Ceratosaurus, and Eriops has so much health. We're looking at creatures here that are just tanks. Ceratosaurus and Eriops are both tanks. Okay, so he's gonna go for three. He's gonna go all out. He's gonna go all out, that's good. Um, I think we have to go for an all out as well to kill him. It depends how much damage that Ceratosaurus does, but at level 22, Man, it's gonna take everything to win this one! Why'd well, I have to make it hard? I could've just put in something much better. Why'd I have to make it hard on myself? Three, six, nine, we can't kill it. Oh no, three, six, nine. So one, two, three, four. We have to go for all out! We have to go for all out! How much damage does Ceratosaurus do with three? It can't do 400, it can't do 400. 300. <gasps> oh, it's close! Please don't! Don't attack, don't attack, please don't attack, please don't attack. I need all the health I can get on my T-Rex. Oh good, okay, so about to Shogasaurus go. <laughs> oh, this is close. This is so close. Okay, he went for one, which means, oh, he's got six. He's got two block, oh no, he's got two block. Oh, the best. Just do it. You're gonna go for four. I hate this. I hate their bots, but they have to they have to wait till the, the clock gets to a certain time because they have to look like they're real people. Oh so he's got two block. It takes three one, two, three to kill him, so we have to go for five. One, two, three, factor in two, and then two block. Oh we might be able to do it! We might be able to do it! How much how much attack does this have? Oh, it's about the same. We kill it in two hits, though. We, if it, please attack for two. If you attack for two, we've won. Attack for two, please. <gasps> oh, what do we do, guys? If he blocks for two, we've won. Right, there's a high chance of him blocking for one. Not so much for two. Three is very rare. Okay, let's just do it, let's just do it. Yes! Oh my God, the skin of our teeth. Bloody hell. That. We were the underdogs there, come on. 40 cups, I wanna see the highest. 40 cups is the highest. 34, what? I think 40 cups is the highest. We should have got way more, are you kidding me? Well, we're in Predator League, one more, and we're in Dominator League. Probably like two more battles in each one. That was tough. Oh, DNA, I earned that. <laughs> yeah, I earned that one completely. Okay, so we're, we're in a higher up league. We need some higher up. Dinosaurs. Let's let's put in Carnoraptor. I want I don't I don't want it to be a walk in the park, but I want it to be somewhat challenging. Carnoraptor, I think <laughs> Carnoraptor's got this. <laughs> One attack right off the bat is gonna kill Shin. Oh yes. Oh, this is good. This is good. Because technically it's kind of we're we're about average, so we're gonna get a good amount of cups. I don't have to concentrate. I'm just going to keep on attacking. I like this kind of battle. <laughs> Come on, just do it. Oh, why? Oh, why? Why'd you have to do like, oh, we might attack. There you go. Two turns, two KOs, and the last one, Superosaurus. Three. Can't do anything. 
can't do anything. So I think if Carnaraptor was a bit OP, but the Tijongasauruses, okay, <laughs> the Tijongasauruses uh, really brought down our average. So we're probably going to get 30. I'd say 30. It has to be right. Tijongasaurus, in comparison to those, Tijongasaurus is really weak. 33! That was, that was just one cup less than the last one! Oh, okay, yeah, we got like two more battles on each. I think two more battles on Predator. Maybe three to push. And another 370 odd! Let's keep going. Okay, so Carnaraptor is around about right. Um. <sighs> what do we do? What do we do, guys? I think. I think Prognathosaurus. Or pro what's it called? Proto Sorry, Proterogorinus. Protogorinus. Protogorinus. That's the one. Oh, there we go. Couldn't have couldn't have hoped for a better start against the T-Rex. We're getting all a look now. So right off the bat, we can just go for one attack. And kill him. There you go. Easy peasy. Oh, Brachiosaurus, nice to see it! Finally! Only took Five freaking years <laughs> to get Brachiosaurus in the game. Oh dear. Oh. Finally got there. Oh, there you go. There's its animation from Jurassic World Alive. So, um, I think we may as well just go for two reserves. Yeah, because even if it did block, yeah, we wouldn't. If I got one attack through, I still would need to go for two more. So it wouldn't made any. It wouldn't made any difference then. So he's doing a lot of damage, like, he's doing a lot of damage. Um, so he's only got one block, so one, two, three, and then I'm gonna block here. Um, because Shunosaurus at level 31 has a fair amount of attack. Yeah, 446. So I, yeah, and he reserved as well. So three would have killed me. Four was way overkill, but three. Oh, oh yes, that was that was lucky. If I just went for all reserve, that would have been it. Game over. Tijongasaurus can't do anything. It's good that the little meat shields. I mean, they don't need much health. They don't need to take more than like one. At Thirty-six. What? Okay, never mind. There we go. Eighteen. I think one more battle. We're in Dominator League. We're in Dominator League. Oh, look at it there. It was like, oh, Moses, oh, Moses, oh, Moses, oh, nah. <laughs> okay, so we're near the top. I would assume, yeah, we'll, we'll stay up here. I don't, ah. Uh... I'm gonna go for Proto Protocoptodon or whatever it's called. Pritrodon. Gonna go for Pritrodon here. I think the best tactic now is just to stay, like, to do battles every day. What? What? Okay. Um. Yeah, we're severely outclassed here, guys. If I win this, I deserve a hundred cups. If he goes for two attacks, even just two. Oh, he went for one. He went for one. Okay. Okay. I, it's doable. It's winnable because. I kill all of them in two hits. I kill all of them in two hits. That's how it's winnable. But my god, this is tough. I have to use every Tijongasaurus at my disposal here. It would have been good to start with a Tijongasaurus in this case. Oh, please go for one attack. Please, please. Yes! Yes, he's got nothing. And we've got five? Four. We got five. One, two, factor in one, um, because he can't kill me in two hits, I don't think. He's got like 700 attack, which is about 1,600 in total, but yeah, he can't kill me here. If he does go for it, um, I think it frees me up. He does go for it! Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, let me think about this. I have to go for two attack and then four block, because I cannot take a single hit from Darwin Opterus. I can't take a single hit. It's We've got this. we got this, though. We've definitely got it. Yeah, look at that 1,040 attack. Oh, just go for loads. Just go for loads of attack. Oh, okay. Yep, we're going to have to. We're going to have to use our final Tijongasaurus, our little meat shield. Going for three reserves. 
Um, we could have killed him. When all out, we could have killed him, but it was risky. So he's going to go for four attack. Leaving him with two block. We've got seven. He's pretty much done. Come on, do it. Just, just fucking waste. Why waste my time? Just have it do it instantly. Like in Jurassic World Alive, they know that you know their bots. Because when you do strike towers, they're, not, they're just AI. So they don't waste time. They just do their attacks instantly. There's no like animations or anything. Like for when they die, they instantly come in. Um, but with this one, they, ha they still have to pretend. I think it's built in the code. It's in the foundations of this game to pretend. So 38. Apparently, I sh that was not as hard as it could be. Well, there it is, 93 in Dominator League. That is for the Mosasaur? I think that's for the Mosasaur. Yep, Mosasaur. So now we get the best rewards. <gasps> Almost 500 bucks, that would have been amazing. Okay, so that's that done. We got the Dominator League in that one. Let's do this one. I, I kind of want to stay up in this league. Um, right, okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. We're not... We've got two more battles, I think, with this one. I think maybe three. I think it, I think it's two, though. It depends. It depends what we're up against. Look at that level 10 super hybrid. It's so good. But I wonder what this does for the average, though. Because it is only level 10. So I will go for one reserve. Look at that health! I didn't even know it was at 3,000 health. It's really good for level 10. You just need one. And you're, you're sorted. Okay, what are you going to do? If you go for two attack, I'm happy with that. We do have a Pachyrhinosaurus as well, though. Um, okay, I, I'll swap in Tijongosaurus. Again, I think at this point, we need to put one Tijongosaurus in. We need to put our best creature in the middle, because that way, this turn, we would have killed something. We would have killed something here. And he would have nothing. But because we didn't, he's got four and he's still alive. So he's going to go for three. He's got one block. Or a possibility of one block, I should say. Hmm. One, two. Factor in one. Now, yeah, I'm just going to go for one. Oh, ho, ho. oh, not good. Not good. But, I mean, he's only got, it's only like a hundred extra attack, right? And he's only going to hit us with three, so it's going to be, what, a max of 2,000 damage? If he does go all out. Um, which I hope he doesn't. <laughs> Please don't. Do nothing. I would love if you did nothing. Brilliant. Brilliant. So my one reserve I can use to switch into Tijongasaurus. Um, and then do this. This will be interesting to see how close this was. It's definitely a high 30s. I would say 35, 36... It's, it's not a low 30s, I don't think. So he's going to go for five. And again, we have to wait because the game want, likes to pretend these guys aren't bots. And there's the five. So he's got one block. We can go for two to kill him, right? I think two might be able to kill him. I think. It might be a push, though. I think three. One, two. Oh, it's the right, it's the perfect amount. Are you kidding me? Okay, so one block and then let's do those just in case he has five. And there it is. Okay, so he's got five attack. The Indominus has got five attack. He can only hit me with two though. Um, so the max he can do is 700 damage and he's dead on the next turn. Um, because one hit, oh no, hold on, hold on. He might not be guaranteed dead. He might not be. Depends if he attacks here at all. Ooh, guys, what do we do? I think we just go all out sod it. He, I mean, he has to block for five. He didn't do it. The chances of him blocking for five were very low. And even then, he can't kill us with four. So we, we were good. We were good. But what did we get? What did we get? What? Only 30. Bugger off. Only 30. Yeah, it's going to have to be three battles. So two more. And we get to dominate a league. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to check uh, Jurassic World Alive because I think we're about to run out. There's a there's an epic I need to get as well. I need to dart just something more before it expires. So I'm multitasking here. So let's go for Diplo Sutures. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. No, 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 no. We need to do that. Then put Diplo Sutures in the middle. That's what we need to do. So Diplo Sutures, where are you? 
Lovely jubbly. Okay, please, please tell me I didn't miss it. Even if I just have dart cyanoceratops, I'll do it. I've got a couple more epics to, to dart, and I was hoping something would spawn. Oh, this is good. This is good. I'll take it. Please tell me. Please tell me I didn't miss it. Please tell me I didn't miss it. Did I miss it? I mean, I missed it. Oh, nuts. <laughs> How much did I miss it by? Ah, probably not much. Probably not much. Yeah, I don't even need to pay attention to this. The one reserve, one attack, uh, two reserves here. I missed it by... It was like 18 minutes. Okay. So sorry if you can hear the PC whirring. I forgot I put it to sleep. <laughs> What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You think you're going to attack me for two? Ha <laughs> ha! No, you're not. However, I do need to switch out because I'm a bit worried. <laughs> There's no Dosaurus, that's it. There's no Dosaurus I'm a bit worried about because it's going to take like two or three hits to kill it. And even then, I've got to take on my own weakness, which is that Quetzalcoatl or whatever it is. Okay, I think he had four. So he's got one block. He's got one block. Um, we kill him in two, so we have to go for three. Um, and then one, two, three. So the worst case scenario... Oh, he's only got 300 attack! Okay. Yeah, sort it. There we go. Sorted. I was, I was worried. I was worried. <laughs> I thought he was going to have, like, what, a thousand attack? If he would be able to kill me in two hits? Nah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Go on. Go for four. Why do you not go for four? Oh, however. One, two. I have to go for a lot to kill him. So, ooh. 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 I, don't, I might have been able to kill him there. Oh, come on. Go, attack. Go on. Attack for six. Please. Please. Oh. Oh, this is a game of chicken. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. I think we've... Whoa. We <laughs> would just survive. However, it did prove to me that three kills him. And yep, so we could have killed him last time. But there you have it. Get the lovely death roll. Your rollies. 9,000 damage. Kills him. He's happy about that. Nom nom. And that was 33. Again, on the most. I wonder if it's because I'm using uh, super hybrids. I think that might be the case. It's like, oh, they're super high. It's like, they're good. Oh, of course, we miss everything and get the food. Great. I, I, just what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this could be the final battle. Um, we're quite high. Should we risk the biscuit and go for someone with really high attack and not great health? Let's do it. Go for Segna Suji. Please don't be any flyers. I mean, be loads of flyers. Didn't want the carnivore though. Oh no. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, this is risky. What's the attack on that one of the Kairos? So 300. 300 attack on that one of the Kairos. I think we might be good. I'm gonna go. I have to go for three attack to kill the Carnoraptor though. Because I'm only gonna have 600. I'm only gonna have 600. So I think that kills him. And then I can survive two hits from the Ornithokyrus. So one, two, kills him. Then I'm gonna have to switch. I think he might switch into Brachiosaur here though. Oh, this is so risky. Although I killed this thing in two hits, so that's good. I don't know about the Brachiosaur though, 600. Uh, I killed the Brachiosaur in two hits as well actually, so that's good. It's just, I, I have to kind of keep an eye on their health, though. Um, so the max he can have is three. No, four. Oh, so I have to, I have to switch. I have to switch. So hopefully he blocked. And he did. So his three is going to attack my Tijongosaurus. Great. Okay, so it's left them wide open, meaning the two reserves I've just got now, I can use to kill the Brachiosaur. And the four can be used for like a two block and a two reserve because I know I can survive two hits from the owner of the Kairos. Yeah, okay, so one, two kills him. He's gonna have what, like six, so two. And then there we go. 
There we go. Oh, masterfully dodged there. <laughs> masterfully navigate. Just a pro. <laughs> oh my god, it's like an hour long episode. We've done two tournaments, got a new super hybrid, um, showed you guys how to get books with the John Hammond statues and VIP points, which is always guaranteed. Um, and he does go for it. That's fine. You can go for it, do whatever you want. And I think this is high 30s. This has to be high 30s. Look at the team! Connor Raptor! Level 40s! Like, you know, in its highest evolution. There's no way. There's no way we're not getting 36. We have to get 36. Or higher. There's no way. And that'll take us in the Dominator. 40! Yes! That was it. The, the, basically, the, the game was like, yeah, that was the hardest battle. I don't know how you won that. <laughs> that should take us. There it is. 98 into Dominator League for the best prize. But what, what will we get? I mean, the best prize is, but doesn't mean we're going to get anything good. Um, 200 DNA. You know what? I earned that. I earned that. And there you have it. Uh, but the best thing is all of this gorgeous DNA. Uh, oh, wait. What? You don't get double. Oh, I thought you were so going to get double. Damn. Okay, what does that take us to? Oh, we're close. 116. 116 Super Raptor DNA in Raptor Gen 2. Whew. Well, guys, enjoy that video. Leave a like. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,